Hello everyone! Welcome to a new video and it's been a while since I've shot new videos so right now we're in the um, COVID-19 quarantine like stay at home type thing and this is the first day in like a month and a half that I have <laughs> like dressed myself in a like suitable for going out type of clothing and put on eyeliner so it feels really weird. Um, Anyway, I hope you guys are all safe and sound, and um, whenever you see this video, I hope everything is good to go, and we're all safe and alive and healthy and happy. Anyway, um, hello, I am Aziza, aka Gourmet Pens, and the video today is going to be on a new pen. Um, it's April 23rd, and it's being launched right now by Esterbrook. So it's not an SD. It is, sorry, I'm, I'm so out of practice. It is the new Esterbrook Composition Camden pen. So I'm going to show it to you here. And let me just move the focus thing. Sorry. There we go. It's cute. Now let me read the background and then I'll talk about it a bit. For nearly 200 years, the traditional composition notebook has remained virtually unchanged. Evolved from the ancient Japanese art of suminagashi, its unique black and white marbled cover has graced the desks of school children and scholars, artists, and authors. It has been a top seller for manufacturers since it arrived in the U.S. from France in 1887 due to its approachable, humble nature and its accessibility everywhere school and office supplies can be found. And now two classics meet. La la la. Um... The Camden composition is a tribute to the heritage of both the Estabrook Camden and the classic composition notebook. This is a limited release, an homage to schoolwork and note-taking to the words of yesteryear and carrying the tradition of analog into the future. There are three specially engineered finishes in a limited of 250 pieces each. So this is the back-to-school black. There is also fall leaves burgundy, spring break fluorescent green, and they are available fine, medium, broad nibs. They have rhodium trim. And um, we'll look at the details of the pen in a minute. So the fountain pen is MSRP is 195 US dollars and the rollerball is 185 US dollars. So this is the back to school black, obviously. And if you are familiar with Esterbrook, you know it come, their pens come in this like little coffin case which usually freaks me out but I think the gray is okay and we'll look at the stuff on the desk but just so you can see this is what it comes in very nice small simple packaging that I actually really appreciate because it's just very basic um, like no waste minimal space etc so the pen is a pretty large pen um, definitely full size and the finish is a powder coated finish and then it's baked on so i know this because um i was i, I was watching um, an instagram live where um carrie from fountain pen day and ken Rowe was talking about the pen because they were just taking like a q a about the pen they were just being released so this is what i've been told and what we've all been told that it's a powder coat finish. So it does have a very interesting texture and it, it looks really interesting too. And when I first saw pictures of it, I was like, eh, it's probably gonna feel like not so great in hand, but it's actually really nice. And I like it far more than I thought I would when I'm actually using it. So let's like pop down to the desk and see how it works. And thank you so much to Esther Brooke for sending this so that I could check it out and review it and share it with you. Um, I have a, like a super enjoyable overall, like fantastic writing experience, really comfortable. And the only hesitation I have is the price, which I will chat about more as we're writing and stuff. So there you go, 195 US, the Esterbrook Camden composition. And there we go. So I will see you in a second. Bye. Hello everyone. Welcome to the other half of this video. Um, so we're going to be looking at as you already know, the Esterbrook Composition Camden. And so uh, we got the pen in here. You know how I feel about these boxes. They freak me out a little bit. I do like that they're very small though. So it just opens up 
Americans Original Reborn. You get this awesome little polishing cloth now, and you get your little uh, Masterbrook Pens Detail thingamajigger, and you get um, an ink cartridge. This came with a converter in the pen, and I have the back to black finish. So I do like this very basic packaging. And if you don't want to use it, you can always just use, like, use it as a pen box. You can use it for other things. So that's nice. I like being able to reuse my pen boxes. And um, I kind of like the gray more than the red, actually. So that's kind of cool. Let's move that. So here is the back to black Camden. Now, I first saw this on um, an Instagram live with um, Van Ness Pens and uh, Fountain Pen Day. So it was Lisa and Carrie. And, you know, at first I was like, eh, doesn't really appeal to me because I thought it was going to be plastic and like really light. Um, but it turns out it's actually quite pleasant. So it's got this very cute finial, um, a clip that is quite f close to the body. So I like that profile. Um, it's very tight. So it will hold very securely. You have the Esterbrook engraving and a engraved ring. But other than that, it's a very clean profile. And so it's a, it's a, not a huge pen, but it is a full size pen. And the cap is quite long. The cap is pretty heavy. And so in hand, I'm just going to zoom out a tiny bit. It is full length, very comfortable for me. Um, it does not post. Like, it can sit there, but it's not a postable pen. I know that's a deal breaker for some people. The section is very comfortable. So it is metal. And it's not slippery. It's very smooth here. And it just fits in my hand very well. So it's just a really comfy pen. It is a cartridge converter. Um, oh shoot, I'm racking my brain to remember what ink is in here. Hopefully <laughs> when I start running, I'll remember. Um, it has a number six size steel Schmidt nib and it's available in fine, medium, broad. I have a medium here. It's definitely a finer medium and uh, plastic feed, but very like reliable writer. It's, it, has written very well for me. Uh, it's been very comfortable and I just love how the pen feels in hand. So I'm really happy about that. And because I, I don't know, I just like looking at it. I was like, eh, it's going to be plastic. It's going to feel cheap, you know? Um, but I really like it. And the finish, like it has a very slight texture to it. So all these bumps, like they're not really sticking out very much, but it's just enough to make you feel like there's some, like it's got a bit of grip to it. It's not super slick. Really like that. So that's pretty cool. Let's just take a look at a couple other pens next to it so you have an idea for the size. So we got the Camden, we have a Pelican M205. So already you can see it's much longer. We have a Sailor 1911 small, like the smaller size. We have a Lamy Safari, uh, still quite a, a long pen. Um, we got a Platinum Preppy. Let's grab... Um, an Esterbrook SD, just the regular size. And we have a Leonardo Memento Zero Grande. Um, let's throw in a Mont Blanc 149. So it is it is a really long pen. Um, it's longer than the 149. Not as thick, obviously, but definitely longer. And we throw in a Visconti Homo Sapiens. So a long pen, slimmer, but quite long. So let's get all these out of the way. can write. So let's grab some paper, some papier. Okay. Let's hope your girl can remember the ink. Okay. So. So this is a medium. It's quite fine has a fair amount of feedback, but it's not at all scratchy. Um, what did I say this was? Oh, the composition. This is the Camden. 
my finish is. Back to school. Black, very cute, totally work friendly. Um, the nib is a medium, really very well tuned nib. Trying to make sure my hand's not blocking your view there. So, writes really well. Um, it's definitely a firm nib. It is a steel nib, it's not a flex nib. Um, you can squeeze out a tiny bit of wetness, but you know, it's not a flex nib, so just showing you that. Um, it's not a super wet writer, so really good for daily use, um, journaling, um, just, you know, just on the go because it's going to dry pretty quickly. Okay, so the ink, this is, I actually do remember, this is the new Mont Blanc turquoise ink. Um, let's, let's write. I really like this nib for cursive. It writes really well. Um, it's a very, it's a good writer. Very light hand. You don't need a death grip. You don't need to apply pressure. It just writes. So you can hear that feedback. It's not scratchy, it's just noisy. Noisy, huh? <laughs> um, let's see. but really comfortable. My, my grip does not slip at all. Um, there's no sharp bits. Like the, if you press hard and press down on the threads, you will feel them, but I'm beyond the threads. Um, and if uh, the deal breaker is if you like to post your pens, it's not gonna post, but I don't really think it needs posting. I really like it. So the fountain pen is 195. So I think it's a little pricey, so it's the MSRP. Uh, I don't know what the street price is going to be. It might be one ninety-five. The rollerball version is one eighty-five, so it's a little expensive. Um, I get it; like it's it's very it's a unique finish and stuff. So it works really well, but it's up to you. Little pricey. I would really like to see this like at around like one fifty. You know, I think that would be quite solid and maybe that's what it will be on the street who knows I'm doing this based on the MSRP so that's the feedback I can give you but it's a really nice pen it's really comfy it writes really well it feels really good and it's quite robust so I've like knocked it about um, tossed it in my bag and it's holding up really well I also know that if anything goes wrong Esther Brook and Kenner will back the pen because I've had that experience with the SD and they were solid through and through, no issues. So it was really um, like they took care of everything. So thank you guys for watching. Thank you to Esther Brooke for sending this over so I could share it with you. I think it's really cute and definitely worth taking a look at. I am Gourmet Pens and you can find me online on Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest, Instagram, Patreon, and uh, there you go. So if you found this useful, I would be super grateful if you would like and subscribe. It helps me out a lot. And uh, yeah, let me know what you think of the pen. Do you like the finish? Does it freak you out? <laughs> Did you use a composition book when you were in school? Uh, I still have one, actually. And I, for some reason, really like the paper. And uh, that's enough of my rambling. So thank you guys for watching. Uh, take care. We will see you next time. Bye.